Sorry, that light is really bright in my face. I don't know if the camera's pointing my way. Yep. Um, well, probably should have recorded it. Last night was so windy and it was raining. Mostly the trees were stopping the wind, but the wind was getting into my tent a little bit. And I recorded a temperature of inside the tent with my uh, temperature gauge on my what um, you know like there's a little uh, wireless thing I got on my bag that gauges the temperature my bags inside the tent and it was reading three just over three Celsius and that's inside the tent um, and of course with the wind factor it feels colder and if I was outside it'd be even colder so definitely gets cold here in October October the 21st now I think in the Kintyre, almost to the bottom, near to South End, about 20 odd kilometres away to South End. Oh. Um, I've had some chicken tikka sandwiches from Tesco's I picked up the other day and a cold can of uh, coffee uh, for my morning um, breakfast. Well, <coughs> this is my little camping spot from last night. I can't remember the name of that island, but you can walk to it on a causeway when the, the, the tide is down. But when I, when I, oh, you can see the causeway now actually. But when I walked past it, it was all under the sea, so... You know, I mean, I'm guessing you, you could camp over there tonight. Um, to be honest, last night was so cold. Last night, I think I said, it reached around 3 Celsius inside the tent, according to my temperature gauge. But I've only got a summer sleeping bag. I have got winter thermal clothes when I'm in there. I wear those and some of those hot hand pads. I, I use two body hot hands, heating pads, um, two hand warmers from hot hands and two foot warmers from hot hands. And I, my legs were still cold. I was feeling the cold. I was just warm enough, just right on the very edge of not being able to sleep. Um, Anyway, I'm going to get this tent down now and get out of my way because it's, it's cold now. It's still cold. Well, that's me fully packed away. Um, I'm going to get my bag, all the rubbish packed away, and get my bag and um, start today's hike. The show must go on. And there's this morning's sunrise. And got a view of uh, the island by where I'm camping. It's a beautiful but cold morning. Absolutely stunning coastal walk along here. No cars so far. It is early in the morning still, about nine o'clock now. Just could have camped here. There's a bit to camp just down there. Even more places to camp along here. Down there. Small places. So different to last night's weather. So different. Wow. What, the, what a camper van spot. You can park your camper van here and behind me, I don't know if you can see it on the video, is um, a view of the Isle of Arran. You can see the whole of this, this side of the Isle of Arran anyway, what we're facing. Um, absolutely stunning and of course that's where I did my uh, Aran coastal way walk uh, walk around the coast uh, last month if I had a camper van this would be a great spot still no cars <laughs> it's a very quiet road and it is almost 10 o'clock I think
Still no cars. Absolutely no cars. Okay, so I have my first car, well, four wheel drive going past me. There's been no camper vans hardly on this trip, by the way. Hardly, I haven't seen any camper vans hardly at all. Especially not down here, not what single one. Um, really, just not that many. But there's been loads of spots like this. You can just park up and with a fantastic view. Um, but just none, which is nice, to be honest. Seeing loads of bright white camper vans everywhere, but I can see the joy in them. I, I wouldn't mind one myself, but it's just I can't afford to drive, so. But um, yeah, it's just it's just so peaceful here. It just seems to be away from uh, in October the uh, 21st. It's just I know other hikers. I haven't seen one other hiker doing this trail the whole time. How long have I been doing it? Seven days now, or six days? I'm not sure, but not one other hiker. You're picking up the rainbow. Oh, I think it's just showers. I don't think there's any prolonged rain. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Did you see the rainbow? At least didn't get any rain here. What they are, it's not um, it's not a holiday park. It might be just for local people to go come down here and go fishing. I don't think they're lived in full time. It's not what about. I think they're just like fishing fishing lodges maybe. <laughs> what an awesome place! Imagine just living along here in one of these. Awesome. So stunning and no tourists about. No one. There's no one. Yeah, definitely not holiday homes. But yeah, it's solar power. Beach, beach here, spectacular. Just in a really remote area. Oh, I'd love to love to own one of these, these places. just missed it, there was another rainbow, but I just missed it. Actually, I just looked on the map and this is a holiday park. Of course, there's a website for it, but um, I'm not seeing any signs for it. When I come down the farm, there was no sign saying holiday park. I haven't seen any. There's no one about. I haven't seen anyone about. I'll put the website for the Holiday Park up. It's just bizarre there's no one here. I know it's it's Thursday today, not the weekend. But um, I'd expect to see some people there in the weekday, even though it's our season now, October the 21st. It's an absolute stunning location to go on holiday. I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd, I'd love to come here on holiday actually, rent one of these um, caravans out. What an awesome place, you know, take your family, like, it's what a place to go, eh? I think my folks would like to come here on a holiday. It's absolutely stunning, look at it. I know they'd get up here, though, because um, they can't drive anymore, so... It's a bit of a way on public transport. I don't know if they could handle it like I can. But what an incredible place. Definitely put a link to this up on your screen for this place. I was just speaking to a lady down there, and apparently it's, it's owned by people, all the caravans are owned by people, and they can come up and stay there whenever they want. So it's not a holiday park, apparently. So 
lovely little memorial here to somebody's um, mum and gran. I think I can actually see the holiday park, the basic holiday park with just caravans. I don't think it's like camping. There is a campsite, but I think it's closed at the moment. It's a bit further on. This bit of the hike is amazing. And this time of year, like I said in late October, I don't know what it's like in peak season. I guess we keep on some beaches in peak season, but there's a snow in there at the way from nowhere. Even the whole hike, like I said, not to any other hiker. <laughs> it is it's pretty amazing, right? You just don't quite have the mountains everywhere, like you get in other parts of the island. I really love this place. I'm going to have to find out more places in Scotland that's away from uh, you know, the populist areas. Yeah, I've done all the popular areas anyway. I've done Sky to Death. I think I must have been there 20 times. So I'm not going to be back there in a hurry, to be honest. It's just too busy there, I like it. Um, I really love this trail. It's not for everybody, though, because there's a lot of road walking, a lot of forestry track walking but then every now and then you get bits like this which makes it worth it. Now if you're doing a um, walking around the British coastline which is impossible by the way no one ever has done it and probably nobody ever will if you if you literally want to walk around the coast it's impossible and I mean by that I mean even just getting near to all parts of the coast is impossible. Um, some parts you can, a lot of parts you can, there are parts you can't. So it's impossible to walk around, around uh, the British coast. What you can say is that I've walked around it as much as humanly possible, or as possible for yourself. I mean, walking thousands of kilometres anyway is an achievement in itself for most people. Um, but um, personally for me, it's just something I love doing, so it's it's not a problem really to be honest um, but yeah if you're going to walk around the British coast you can't say you've even attempted it if you haven't done the uh, Kataya so you'll be walking along this beach I've just walked along if you're, if you're going to um, walk the British coast and I wonder how many people have missed out the entire Kataya Peninsula a lot I'd imagine I, well, I know I don't imagine I know that a lot of people claim to walk around coastline and they miss out large sections like the Kintar, uh, Kintar Peninsula. Anyway, um, and this is a reason why I've kind of like hummed hard whether I want to do it myself because I, I realise it's just not possible to do it. It's not possible. There's a local caravan here as well. I don't know if this is how that far going just for people who bought caravans like the horse one. I think it's the same as the last one. Another load of empty caravans. Fairly more like winter. This is this is like seriously cold, man. This is not. My sleeping bag getting warm enough for this. I just want it to be this cold. This is like ice cold, man. Ok, 
how dark it's gone. I've got this GoPro on really light lightened up, so it probably doesn't look as dark as it actually is. Oh, it's cold, really cold. Really cold rain and I uh, ice, <laughs> got the name, what you call it, ice rain now, hailstones. Oh, absolutely shattered, man. This is cold. I should have put my thermal top on under this. It was, it was warm, but I thought we were going. Approaching South End, the bottom, I guess it's like the very bottom of, of the Kintyre. And I'll tell you what, it's October the 21st, I think. It feels like winter. It's absolutely freezing, man. I think the gear I got for tonight is just not warm enough. Even... <sighs> it's much colder down here than it was further up the peninsula. I know whether it's just a weird day, weather day. South End is like their uh, land's end. It's not buzzing with tourists today, is it? <laughs> it's got a sign on it saying no vacancies. Vacancies, no. Still in use. I think someone needs to fix the fine box door. Oh, that was rubbish time. I almost forgot about that. I'm just making sure I'm throwing anything in there. Keep. Okay. This bridge is alright. <laughs> so cold. It's too it's too cold for my, my summer sleeping bag even with my winter gear. It's just too cold man. Well my my waterproofs are not are not gonna be any good if it really hammers it down to be honest, but it's this cold. It's just not going over those hills. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think this camp's not closed. I'd be so cool if we could stay in the pod or something tonight. Just think about it. Hey, 
today folks I'm gonna have an all day breakfast which I picked up from um, the Tesco's in uh, Campbelltown there are bins here as well which is a bonus and I've got a toilet so I've got wa um, water and a bin right next to me